My name is Dr. Dana Suskind, and I'm a pediatric cochlear implant surgeon at the University of Chicago and co-founder of the TMW Center for Early Learning and Public Health. I have spent the last decade plus educating parents and society about two things, mainly the critical importance of language-rich environments for building children's brains and the power of parents and caregivers to serve as children's first and most important brain architects. My hope is that my work, when coupled with the work of so many wonderful parents, researchers, childhood advocates that, are already, that already exist, can help shift public will. We need more robust societal supports for parents and caregivers so that they have the time and the resources necessary to nurture and raise their children. So why do I think things need to be different? Look. My TMW Center and I have developed and studied evidence-based strategies to help parents learn and apply the science of early brain development. But I have found that evidence-based strategies are not nearly enough if you lack the time, resources, or bandwidth to apply them. Our programs can share with parents the knowledge and powerful skills that they build their children's brains but our programs, I realize, don't substantially change the day-to-day -day lives of parents who participate. The larger realities that they are subject to all matter as much as the power of talk, because they either allow the power of brain-building power of talk and interaction to occur, or if they limit parents' opportunities for engaging, they stifle it, like weeds choking off a garden. That's why I'm focused now on helping parents and other stakeholders create a society that removes some of the obstacles standing in the path of far too many families. We want to build a parent nation, a society where every parent receives the support they need so that every child can have a chance to thrive. Look, neuroscience shows us that environment matters tremendously. Stable, calm environments foster socio-emotional skills and executive function, while disruptive environments impede their development. Our society robs far too many families from the opportunities to provide healthy environments, and the resulting toxic stress becomes a factor endangering healthy brain development. If all children of all races, ethnicities, and genders are to flourish and grow up to participate equally in the economy and civil, civic life of our nation, society must attend to and allow for healthy brain development from birth. Healthy brain development is a fundamental condition for equity and equality. Without it, we will never be able to create true and lasting change. What are some of the bold solutions that I would like to see implemented? I would love to see parents and their allies come together and form a, a parent voice, a parent lobby, bringing together their voice. Because just as the AARP dramatically improved the quality of life for elderly Americans half a century ago, we can do something similar for our youngest citizens by first helping their parents. Like the elderly once were, parents of young children today are in many ways invisible, isolated, marginalized, and struggling. In fact, the poorest segment of our population today is no longer the elderly, but children under five. Um, a parent's lobby has the potential to dramatically improve the life for families, millions of families with young children, to demand the support that is needed to finally allow parents to meet the developmental needs of their children, to safeguard their own well-being, and to build a system of support that isn't dependent on zip code or income level or good fortune or good luck. The beauty of this approach lies in its capacity to benefit each and every one of us, even non-parents. The strength of any country is based on ensuring that all its children have the same opportunity. Thank you so very much.